Hey, what's going on, Libras? Butch Tarot. Gonna do a two week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Um, all energies can be reversed. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Always feel free to comment down below. And let's get it. What do we have for Libra? What is going on for Libra for the next two weeks? All right, Libra. All right, Libra, so first thing I see, you know, I feel like there's a lot of hot and cold energy around you. Like someone around you is very hot. You know, they're very hot for you, but then sometimes you know, it's like the passion just completely leaves them and they're kind of not even there anymore. Um, like I said, with that hot and cold energy, like one minute they're all over you, the next minute they, you know, they don't even answer your your calls or, you know, they're not, they don't seem interested in, in you at all. Um, I feel like this is something that's been going on for a while. I feel like you've been patiently waiting for it to, to pass. Because I feel like it hasn't always been this way. I feel like it's only been lately that things, you know, things are, are just not, they don't seem, they don't seem right. It doesn't seem balanced. Everything just kind of seems at a, at, 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 you know, at a whack here. Um, You know, I feel like, I feel like you're starting to feel like this person isn't on, on the same page as you anymore. Um, you know, not looking to build a foundation. It's almost like they're happy exactly where it's at. And it's not like, you know, it, they're happy where, where you are right now. I feel like they're content. Uh, very content in where it's at. But you want more. You know, and I feel like you're starting to feel like this this isn't this isn't going where you want it to go. Like I said, this person's on and off. Um I feel like you've been waiting for a while for this person to truly get back on board. But I get the sense that they're they're jumping ship. They're either jumping ship or they're happy, you know. It's like that metaphor where you're on a sinking ship. This person is going down with that ship. They're not, you know, there's no forward movement here. The hole's already in the boat. It's going down. And I feel like, I feel like you already know that. Because I feel like you have those sleepless nights knowing that there's, something's got to change here. This isn't going the way you want it to. Um, I don't feel like it's ever going to go the way you want it to. I feel like you, you want more from life than this person has to offer. And that's why we have those sleepless nights waking up. You know, or not being able to sleep in general. Just constantly thinking about the situation. Thinking that you may, you know, you may have just went the wrong way here. You know, I I feel like... The feelings in this relationship have already kind of walked away. I feel like, I get the sense that this is something that you've been thinking about already for a while. Um, 
you know, I feel like the emotions gone, that hot and cold, that waiting, all that bullshit just got you to the point where you're just like, you know what, I don't even know why I'm here anymore. And I truly see this, this, this isn't going to work out. You know, I do see this ending soon. Sooner rather than later. And I feel like the best thing you can do is, is just acknowledge the fact of how you truly feel and know that as long as you ignore how you truly feel, you're never going to get to where you're supposed to be. You need to trust your intuition here. I feel like you already know what you need to do. I feel like you already felt like walking away. I feel like you already felt like... And, and, and the situation in the world, the way it is right now, it's hard to walk away from somebody because it's almost like, what other options do I have? And I feel like that's why you haven't left already because you feel like you have no other options. Big changes coming here, Libra. Big changes. Got some Leo energy. I feel like you gotta make, you gotta, you gotta take that step. You gotta take that leap of faith, and you know, just move on with your life. Because you feeling like you have no options. There's always other options. The option that you're dealing with right now is not really an option at all. It's not going anywhere. And the longer you, you, you um, subject yourself to this kind of treatment, the more you start to feel like you deserve it. Like that Leo energy, that strength card, you got to have the strength to take that leap of faith uh, to make those changes. And, and trust me, once you do that, the cards are telling me pretty damn clear that you're going to come out on the winning side here. You know, a lot of good fortune coming up for you. You know, stop defending this situation. You know, I just truly feel like you've already, you're already over this. Like you waited too long. And this isn't going anywhere. Um, you know, it's you're not on the same page anymore. I, I don't feel like you ever really were. I feel like it was good in the beginning. I feel like the emotions, you know, it was fresh. It was new. So there was a lot going on. And I feel like now that we kind of sifted through all that new beginning um, in a relationship, we start to get to the real meat of the situation. And once we get to that core, we realize this is not who I want to be with. You know, this person doesn't bring balance to me. They, they, they cause me imbalance. They cause me sleepless nights. They cause me, you know, anxiety or, or whatever keeps you up at night. There's no benefit to this to you. And I feel like, like I said, the only reason I feel like you're still even entertaining this situation is because it's comfortable. You know, sometimes when we get comfortable with the situation, it's almost like it's, 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 a, it's a big ask to take that leap of faith. Um, to have that inner strength to move on to something better and something that you deserve. And like I said, once you take that leap of faith, trust your intuition, and you move forward here, you know, you're going to come on the winning sides. There's good fortune coming your way. And I even, I even see some new communication. Now, I'll get this as the last card, so I feel like this is going to be more into the next... You know, this is the two-week read. I feel like that's going to be more in, like, next month sometime. Um, I don't... I feel like there's going to be... You're, you're going to start a communication with somebody new. Or somebody that you haven't, you know, been talking to for a while. Like, I, I feel some new communication there. Uh, new communication generally means somebody new, but it can also mean somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. Um, I do see that coming up, but I don't really have anything on that because I feel like that's kind of um, moving outside this two-week, you know, period here. Um, so, I mean, there is other options. First thing we got to do, we got to clear, you know, we got to cut the chain, move on, 
and, and, and truly um, let ourselves live. I mean, you know, I know that sounds completely dramatic, like it's a whole big thing, but it is. The long, Every second you spend with the wrong person is, you know, a second you don't have for that right person. I put a quote up not too long ago on a page similar to that. Um, but it's true. Like, if it's, you know, if we're staying with people because it's comfortable, you know, emotionally we're not there, um, we're not attracted to the person anymore, but we're there because it's comfortable, because we're used to them. I mean, you're living with your best friend. <laughs> or you're living with a friend. But that's not okay. We got, we, we have to, you know, allow ourselves to grow. And as long as we have somebody, um, you know, like it's like a little tree and a big tree. As long as that big tree is behind you and, and cutting off that sun, you're never going to be able to grow. Sorry, I use a lot of metaphors. I like them. But that's what I have for you, Libra. Trust your intuition. I feel like you already know what I'm talking about. I feel like you already had these discussions in your head probably a million times. But the cards are telling me this is what you need to do. Um... You know, to, to better yourself, to be better, you know, to have a better future, to have a brighter, happier future. Little things like this is going to go a long way. Um, don't be content with situations that you have no business being in. Um, strive to only get the best out of someone. And someone that brings the best to you. But that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.